Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to install the BL Touch in Clipper firmware. This is part of a Clipper basic series to help people looking at trying out Clipper firmware for the first time to get up and running with some basic fundamentals. For this I'm going to be using Fluid, but Octoprint or Mainsail will work just the same. We only need to be using the console to make edits and the printer config file. To get to the printer config, there should be a button somewhere in the different interfaces, and I'm just going to have this one open in a separate tab to make life easier for me. I like to add headers to sections of my config file, so I have split it into steppers, another one for the extruder, bed, and so on. Here I've made one for the probe. First code we have to put in is for the BL touch itself. Here we will need to set the board pins, the offsets, and the basic settings. To find your board pins, most main boards will have a pins file online where you can see the pin numbers for the dedicated headers or if you're replacing a physical ZN stop switch. For me the sensor pin will be PC2, and most BL Touch devices will require a pull-up resistor on the sensor pin, so we'll use this symbol in front of the pin. So let's pop that back in as I'm going to need it. Next we have to find the probe offsets. You should be able to find your offset for X and Y easily. Most printed ones will display the offset in the description, if not the name of the file itself. Regards your Z offset, I have a separate video on that and I'll link to it in the description below. Next we want to add the safe Z homing. This block of code is simply telling the printer to home in the middle of the bed. So we just need to half our bed size and type that in as the XY position. Then some default speeds and Z-hop settings. And an example of how granular you can get with Clipper. We have all these settings and more. But as this is Clipper Basics, we don't need to change anything from the defaults. We can just remove these commented out options. And then we hit save and restart. Clip will now restart and load back with the new configuration. So when we hit the home all button, we should see it homing in the middle of the bed. To take full advantage of having a BL touch, we're going to want to be able to set up a mesh to probe the bed. So we post in this bed mesh code and define the speed, maximum, minimal travel for the X and Y, probe count. Most of this can be set as default, and depending on where your probe is mounted, you'll need to adjust the min max values so it only probes the bed and not hitting the frame of the printer itself. Again, save, restart. Now after homing all, the BL Touch should probe at 3x3 grid. When we click on the calibrate run, or run a G29 command, You can see the probe doesn't stow away the pin after each probe point, leading to a faster probe of the bed. This can be adjusted in the BL Touch section by just switching out the stow on each sample from false to true, along with options like reducing the Z hop height to help save some time if you're probing many points. When the probe is done, you'll see a graphical display of the probe points on your bed and can adjust the scale for a more exaggerated visualization of the bed heights and low spots and switch between a mesh matrix and probed. We can then save the mesh in our config in terminal by just clicking the save config 
and after restarting it will now apply this mesh to all of your prints automatically. This should be everything needed to get up and running with the BL Touch and Clipper. If I've missed anything or you'd like to see more guides, please comment below. And I hope this video has helped with getting up and running with Clipper. Thank you.